Hello everybody, my name is Francesca. Welcome to this dynamic twisting yoga flow. Let's start laying down on the mat, relaxing the back on the floor and take a moment to hug the knees to you, the chest, gently swinging side to side. Start to take deep breath in and out through the nose. Then guide the knees towards the left side, opening the right arm out, gaze towards the right hand, gently lengthening through the spine, gently guiding the knees towards the left side. Return back to the center, hug the knees in, bring the spine back into a neutral position, and then twist towards the right side, gaze towards the left shoulder. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out through the nose. Back to the center, squeezing the knees in one last time, then widen the knees, hands towards the ceiling, and start to bring the knees towards your elbows and release. Working on our reclined crow pose, activating the core, bringing the knees towards your triceps, holding it here, and release. Keep doing this movement, being very in control, maybe holding it into the position, and release, hugging the knees to the chest. Hands behind the thighs, roll up and down the mat a couple of times, until you come into a tabletop position. Place the hands underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. Then you now open the chest, look up, arch, deep breath in. Exhale, round the gaze towards the navel. And keep doing this cat cows to warm up through the spine, to release any tension, really linking each movement with the breathing. Then tuck your toes, lift the knees and send the hips up and back, come into a down dog. You can take a moment here, pedaling through the legs, bending one knee and then the other one. Otherwise, you can keep the position static, so doing anything that makes you feel better right now. Take a moment in stillness and start to walk with the hands towards your feet, coming to a forward fold on Uttanasana at the end of the mat. Hold your opposite elbows and gently swing side to side, keeping the head very heavy, shifting the weight a little bit more on your toes. Release the hands down on the mat and slowly start to unroll the spine, rising one vertebra after the other one. Then bring the arms over the head, deep breath in, look up, arch lengthen. And exhale, release Tadasana Mantan Pose. Hina arms up, look up, arch. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Halfway lift, arch lengthen. Hands on the mat, walk forward, coming back into Down Dog. And then when you now shift the way forward, come into plank. And exhale, down dog, twisting towards the right side. Back to plank. Down dog, twisting towards the left side. And back to plank. So keep repeating this movement, twisting one side. Then plank. And twisting to the other side. And plank. Trying to go a little bit deeper every time you twist. Creating space in your spine. Maybe holding a little bit longer. Let's hold plank now, pushing the mat away. Then lower the knees down on the mat and bring the right arm up, look up, twist towards the right side. Exhale, release, lowering the right shoulder down on the mat, gaze towards the left side. Extend the left arm forward, deciding how much weight you want to place on that right shoulder. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more deep breath here. And then bend the left arm, start to rise back up, reaching up with the right arm, and extend the right leg behind you, opening to a supported side plank. Reach over the head with the right arm, deep breath in, lengthening the right side of the body. Then rise up, right hand on the right leg, left arm over the head. Release the left hand down on the mat, coming back into that supported side plank, and then twist and reach up. Again, lower the right hand towards the mat, twisting, and rise up. Last one, round, and rise up. Lift the right leg up, holding your balance here, starting to engage the glute. Then bend the right leg, guiding the heel towards the glute and find the foot or the ankle. Start to kick up and back, opening through the chest, arching. 
then exhale, release, coming back into a tabletop position. And this time I'm going to lift the left arm up, look up, lengthen. Exhale, twist, lower the left shoulder down on the mat, gaze towards the left hand. You can keep that right arm bent, or you can extend it forward. So choosing the best version for you right now. Deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Gently releasing any tension from your upper back. Then start to rise back up, left arm up, and open the left leg to the side for a support the side plank. Extend the left arm over the head, lengthening the left side of the body. Then rise up, left hand on the left leg, right arm over the head, lengthening the right side. Release the right hand down on the mat, left arm up. Then we're going to round, reaching towards the mat with the left hand and rise up. Two more like this, round, rise up. And last one, round and rise up. Then hold your balance and lift the left leg up. Bend the left leg, guiding the heel towards the glute and find the ankle, starting to push up and back, gently opening through the shoulder. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Release, coming back in a tabletop position and then stepping back into down dog. Taking a moment here to lengthen. And then lift the right leg up, three leg down dog. Step forward, right foot in between the hands, lowering the back knee down. Rising up with the arms for Anjana Yasana low lunge. Cross the fingers, point the index and reach up and back, opening through the chest. Maybe closing your eyes for a moment, reconnecting with the breathing. Release from the right foot with both hands, half split, shifting the weight back and extending the right leg. Reaching with the belly towards the thigh, lengthening from the crown of the head. Bend again the right leg, Twist to the right, reaching up with the right arm, gaze towards the right hand. Reach back with the right hand and bend the left leg and find the foot or the ankle if that's accessible. Then pump the heel down while you keep your twist. Then release, rising up again with the right hand, tuck your left toe and lift knee up. Holding the twist here, deep breath in and deep breath out. Rise up, holding your twist. Right hand on the left leg, left arm over the head. Keep bending through the right leg. Bring both hands over the head, take your deep breath in, arching through the spine. And when your exhale, open into a warrior two, gaze towards the right hand. Rotate the right palm towards the ceiling, reverse warrior. Keep lengthening the right side of the body while you bend the right leg. Then rise up, extend both legs and reach forward and find the right leg at the height you prefer. Left arm up for three konasana. Keeping the chest open, shoulder facing up. Bend the right leg, shifting the way forward, half moon, lift the left leg up, finding your balance. Keep opening the hips to the side. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Then release both hands down on the mat, left leg stays up for standing split. With control, take a big step back, plank, chaturanga, open the chest up, dog looking up. And exhale, roll of your chest down, dog. Deep breath in through the nose and a deep breath out. Lift the left leg up, three leg down, dog. Exhale, step forward, left foot in between the hands, lower the back knee down and rise up with the arms for Anjana Yasana, low lunge. Taking a moment here to open through the chest, through the shoulder, reaching up and back with the hands. Then extend the left leg, half split, hands on the mat belly towards the thigh. Come out of the pose, bending again the left leg. Right hand stays on the mat, left arm up, look up, deep breath in, twist. Gaze towards the left hand, option to stay here, otherwise you can reach back with the left hand and find the right ankle or foot. Pump the heel down, lengthening through the quad while you hold your twist. 
Release the twist reaching up with the left arm, tuck your right toe and then lift the knee up. Preparing to hold your balance here. Take a deep breath in and when you exhale, rise up. Guiding the left hand towards the right leg, right arm over the head. Keep bending through that left leg. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Rise up, open the chest, crescent lunge. And exhale, open into warrior two. Rotate the left arm towards the ceiling, reverse warrior gaze towards the right leg. Then rise up, extend both legs, three konasana, right arm up, gaze towards the left foot. Bend the left leg, shifting the way forward, the half moon, lift the right leg up, holding your balance. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Release the right hand on the mat, keeping the right leg lifted for standing split. And then take a big step back with the right foot, plant the hands on the mat and step back with the left plank. Bend your elbows, Chaturanga. Hina, open the chest, Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale, roll of your toes, Down Dog, deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Shift the gaze forward, you can step or jump, bringing the feet in between the hands, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold Uttanasana, forward fold. And roll the spine, starting to rise all the way up. Bring the arms over the head, look up, deep breath in, arch. And exhale, release Tadasana, mountain pose. Taking a moment here, reconnecting with the breathing, centering yourself, grounding your feet down on the mat. Keep lengthening from the crown of the head. Then open your eyes, bend the legs and reach up with the arms for Utkatasana chair pose. Shifting the weight a little bit more on your heels, keeping the back straight, legs bent. Hands in a prayer position, twisting towards the right side. Hook the left elbow over the right knee, shift the weight on the right leg and step back with the left foot holding the twist. Then shift the gaze to the side or over the left shoulder. Keep pushing towards the mat with the hips, creating space. Then rise up, opening the arms out like a T. Deep breath in here. And when you exhale, over the right hand towards the left leg, reaching over the head with the left arm. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Rise back up, opening to a warrior two gaze towards the right hand, shoulders relaxed. Rotate the right palm towards the ceiling, reverse warrior. Lengthening the right side of the body. Rise back up, three konas and extend both legs. Right hand on the right leg, left arm up. Shift the gaze towards the mat, lower both hands down on the mat and guide the back foot a little bit closer for pyramid pose. Keep both legs extended, deep breath in and a deep breath out. Then lift the right arm up, twisting towards the right side, gaze towards the right hand, squaring off the hips. Pushing forward with the left hip and back with the right. Start to lift the left leg up for revolved half moon. Holding your twist. Kinking it a little bit higher with the left foot. Release the right hand down on the mat. Left arm up for half moon Ardha Chandrasana. Keep opening the hips towards the left side. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out, release both hands down on the mat, but keep the left foot lifted. And when you exhale, squats, guiding the knee behind the right and extend. So keep doing these Shiva squats, try not to put too much weight on the hands, but using the strength of the legs. Kicking up and exhale, bend. Let's do last one. And then come to sit on the mat. Crossing the right leg on top of the left. Right hand on the floor, left arm up, look up. Exhale, twist, gaze over the right shoulder. Shoulders relaxed. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And a deep sigh out through the mouth. Slowing down the breathing. Come out of the twist. 
hands on the mat and shift the way forward, coming back in a standing split. Then lower the left foot next to the right, half or lift, lengthen, arch. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana, forward fold. Then bend the legs and bring the arms up for Utkatasana, chair pose. And exhale, release Tadasana, mountain pose. Again, bend the legs, arms up, Utkatasana. Hands in a prayer position, twist towards the left side, hooking the right elbow over the left knee. And then shift the weight on the left leg and take a big step back with the right foot, keeping your twist. Taking a moment here, lowering the hips a little bit more towards the mat. Then rise up with the chest, arms parallel to the floor. Gaze towards the left hand. Lower the left hand towards the right leg, reaching over the head with the right arm while you keep bending through that left leg. Then rise up, warrior two. Gaze towards the left hand, then rotate the palm towards the ceiling and bring the arm over the head for reverse warrior. Keep bending through the left leg, deep breath in. And a deep breath out, rise up, extend both legs, three konasana. Right arm up, gaze towards the right hand. Finding the left leg at the height you prefer. Shift the gaze towards the top of the mat. And place both hands on the floor, guiding the right leg a little bit closer to the left, coming to a pyramid pose. Keep the head very heavy. Then right hand on the mat, left arm up, twist towards the left side. Shift the way forward, lift the right leg up for evolved half moon. Embracing the wobbles here, keeping the gaze to a steady point. Left hand down on the mat, swapping hands, so lifting the right arm up, coming to a half moon, opening the hips to the right side. Lifting the right leg a little bit higher. Release the right hand down on the mat, standing split, and then squat, and extend. So keep repeating the Shiva squat, spending the both legs, guiding the right knee behind the left leg, and reaching back up. Finding your balance, trying to place more weight on the feet than the hands. And then we're going to do the last one, and this time we're going to come and sit on the mat, crossing the left leg on top of the right. Left hand on the mat, right arm up, exhale, twist, gaze over the left shoulder. Deep breath in through the nose and a deep sigh out through the mouth, relaxing your body, your face muscle, taking control of the breathing again. Come out of the twist, both hands on the mat, right leg up for standing split, keeping the head very heavy. And release the right foot next to the left, halfway lift, open the chest, length and arch. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana, forward fold. Bend the legs and rise up with the arms for Utkatasana, chair pose. And when you exhale, release Tadasana, mountain pose. Bring the hands in a prayer position, taking a deep breath in through the nose and a deep sigh out through the mouth. Then open the eyes and bring the hands on the hips, widening the feet at the same width of the mat. Keep the leg extended, open the chest, look up. Exhale, fold. Then hook the big toes and bend your elbows, guiding your chest a little bit closer to the legs, while you shift the weight a bit more on the toes. Keep the head very heavy, deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Then extend both arms, gaze forward, lengthen. And when you exhale, the hands down on the mat, heel to your feet a little bit more wider. And bend the legs for Malasana Yogi Squat, keeping the hands in a prayer position and using the elbows to widen the knees. Keep the back straight. Option to stay here. Otherwise, you can transition into crow pose. So keeping the hands down on the mat, shift the way forward. Holding your balance here. Wherever you are is completely fine, just keep holding the position. And now we're all going to meet in a seated position, extending both legs out and long. Flex the feet, engaging through the thighs. Hina, arms up, look up, deep breath in, arch. Exhale, fold, Paschimottanasana, maybe finding the feet, the ankle, the thighs, and guiding the belly towards the thighs. 
keeping the head heavy, taking a moment here, focusing on your practice, bringing the attention in. And then bring the left hand towards the right foot and twist towards the right side, gaze towards the right hand. Lift the right leg up, holding your twist. And gently pushing with the leg towards the left side. Return back to the center, right hand on the right leg and guide the leg a little bit closer to your forehead. Bend the right leg, bringing the foot over the left leg. Left arm up, look up, lengthen. Exhale, twist, gaze over the right shoulder. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out through the nose. Then return back to the center. Extending again the right leg long, arms up, look up, length and exhale, fold. Preparing to twist towards the left side, so right hand over the left foot. Reaching back with the left arm. Lift the left leg up, holding your balance. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Return back to the center, left hand on the left leg, guiding the leg a little bit closer towards you. And then bend the leg, foot over the right leg. Left hand down on the mat, right arm, lengthen. Exhale, twist, gaze over the left shoulder. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And then return back to the center. Extend both legs out and long. Then prepare yourself to come to lay down on the mat. Lowering one vertebra after the other one. Giving the time to your back to relax on the mat. Then hug the knees to the chest. Gently swing side to side. Separate the knees, bring the feet towards the ceiling. Coming to a happy baby, hooking the big toes or the back of the knees. Whatever is accessible for you. And keep the chin tucked in, gently swinging side to side, giving a nice massage to your lower back. Then release. Again, squeezing the knees in and extend the left leg out, keeping the right knee in. Take a deep breath in. And when you exhale, twist. Right knee over the left leg. Open the right arm out, gaze towards the right shoulder. Closing your eyes for a moment. Deep breath in through the nose. And a deep sigh out through the mouth. Return back to the center. Hugging again both knees to the chest. Taking a moment here. And this time keep the left knee in and extend the right leg out and long. Taking a moment to lengthen, deep breath in. And exhale, twist, guiding the left knee over the right leg, gaze towards the left shoulder. And then start to rise back up, both knees in, deep breath in through the nose. And a deep sigh out, send the legs out and long, preparing for Shavasana. Allowing the breath to move freely in your body, starting to relax every muscle. Taking this time here in stillness, giving time to your body to absorb the benefit of this practice. Isolating any noise around you and focusing your mind on being here present in this moment. Letting go of any expectation of how your practice should look like. And take this moment to show gratitude towards yourself for showing up today and towards your body for this movement and everything that it does for you every day.
feel free to stay in Shavasana for as long as you like. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up, to recommend me to friends and family and to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon.